Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about what to do when you receive a numerology chart. Sometimes the information can be overwhelming, other times you read through it and you think, well this is all good, but how do I apply it in my real everyday life? So, the first thing I'm, we're going to talk about is the numbers that are important for you. Number one, your full name. Each letter has a numerical equivalent and you add those all up. That's your power name or destiny number in some reports. There's slightly different language in each report. You'll just have to um, you know, view how that person did that. Um, and then there's out of your full name, there's just the vowels, which is your soul number. That's your inner self. Um, and your personality number, that's the consonants added up, and that's your outer personality. And then you go to your birth date, which, and that added up together is your life path or life lesson number. Then you have your birth month and your day, and that's your attitude number. And then you have just the day you were born. When I look at charts, I focus on the day they were born first. I look at that number. Um, because that's who you are every day. So that is a number that you will want to become really familiar with. And also your attitude is, you know, your attitude in life. There's some key information there, and that's your month and your day added up together. Then you have to know that there are certain numbers that are the thinkers. They are the thinkers. They have ideas. They're adventurous. Um, and that's 1, 5, and 7. Then you have your business numbers. They want to have a plan. They want to be well organized. Um, make sure everything goes smoothly. They're into the money thing. Um, and they're 2, 4, and 8. And of those numbers, 2, if 2 is in business, it does it with a heart. And 2 also gets along with any other number, all the other numbers, better than any of the other numbers. So 2s have less conflicts. And why? Because 2s are about, you know, cooperation and balance and harmony. 2 is the vibration of harmony, and they're the peacemakers. Why would they be? In, so that makes sense. They, they don't have many conflicts, and if they do, it's really bad for a two to have a conflict. Um, then you have your three, six, and nines. These are your creative people. They're, your ideas are happy, and they like to laugh. They like to help. They like to fix people or think they can fix people, and they're all about ma um, having solutions. They love to have solutions for things. So when you first get your chart, you're going to review your key numbers about your name and your date of birth, and you're going to pull out some key information. Then you're going to look at the cycles and patterns of are you having a one vibration month or and, and what your year is, first of all, you'll because every there's nine cycles which take over nine years to go through each of the one through nine numbers, and then in that year's vibration, each month has a vibration. You could break it down into each day has a vibration, but most of us don't plan quite to that level. So I do my charts on a month and don't break it down to the day. So you would look at your the key information and challenges that you have in your numbers. If you have if your person included any challenges, you're lucky. Challenges are good. Um, some people view them as obstacles. That's your perception of it. An obstacle would be bad because then you're a person that's viewing as being blocked and that you're kind of in a victim mode. And viewing things as a challenge gets you out of victim mode and into resilience. And, and resilient people, um, life can throw them difficult situations and they, and they go through it and learn. And they look back and they, and they ask questions about what did I learn from that? How can I not have that happen in the future? And how can I be better because of that? This is what helps you live your life better. So numerology charts are powerful influences on your life to have it either go easy or you can have miserable, depending on if you're following the cycles of your own personal numbers and where you are in your personal cycle of nine years. So in, in this month, you could be in a, a vibration eight year, and then you could have like um, a vibration three month. So the eight year is about power and finances and money, and yet three is about creativity and fun. So within that scope of the year, you're going to have a very, you know, it's a good month to do things creatively. And then you can look at your own personal numbers. Do you have a three in your life path? Do you, you know, do you have an eight in, in your number somewhere? Because the year, if your numbers are in harmony with the numbers that are going on, it's going to be easier for you to accomplish things. If you're in a two month, which wants to be quiet and reflective, and you have a lot of ones in your numbers, it's going to be difficult for you to relax and be peaceful in that month which that vibration of that month is going to want you to rest and not make major decisions. So if you flow with where the numbers and the vibration are in the cycles and you learn to live in harmony, 
you will create outstanding opportunities for yourself. So, numerology charts are valuable in that way because they give you information positive and negative because there's some numbers that don't get along with each other. Overall, as just kind of a general base, the even numbers get along, the odds don't. Most of us have combinations of all these even and odd numbers together, which is fine because we come from a wide variety of personalities and these numbers, you know, some of them can, can present challenges in our life but we you know we thrive on those challenges so I hope that this helps you in interpreting your chart a little easier just break it down into small sections and focus on what the cycles where you are in your cycles and what your what your gifts and talents are and utilize the cycle of the month and the year to bring out your natural and hidden gifts and then you'll just thrive there'll be no stopping you thank you